Okay, uh, hi there. I'll show you guys how to solve a differential exact equation using an initial value point. Let's get to the question. Our question is going to look like a total differential from calculus. Um, it is 2x minus y dx plus 2y minus x dy equals 0. And the initial value is when x equals 1, y will equal 3. So we'll start things by just identifying what f sub x is and f sub y. So I've drawn the arrows here. f sub x will be 2x minus y, and f sub y should be 2y minus x. Um, and what we'll do next is find the uh, mixed partials. That is, um, f sub xy will equal to negative 1 and f sub y x will also equal to negative 1. So we can see that the mixed derivatives are equal. If they were not equal, then we would not be able to use this exact technique, and um, we would need to find another method to solve our differential equation. But in this case, they are equal, and uh, we could use the following the method. OK, so let's go to step 1. Step 1 is to integrate f sub x. So we'll integrate 2x minus y dx. And we'll get our answer right away. Our answer is going to be x squared minus yx plus g of y, some function g of y. So this is going to be our final answer. Uh, but we cannot submit this answer just yet because that g of y is a bit ambiguous. We don't know what that is. So we have to actually figure what that is. To do that, what we'll need to do is set our start equation, uh, the derivative with respect to y of the start equation equal to f sub y. So if we do that, remember f sub y was equal to 2y minus x. And on the left side, we need to calculate the derivative with respect to y. So we should get negative x plus g prime of y. And if we continue to solve for g prime of y, we'll get that g prime of y is equal to y squared plus c. So here, this is a true constant. There's nothing to worry about. Um, you can integrate uh, this step here just as you normally would. What you're going to want to do ne uh, next is plug in g of y into your start equation. So you'll get that uh, your, your function, the f that you're looking for, is equal to x squared minus yx plus y squared, and it equals c. So if we didn't have an initial value, you could stop here. But we do have an initial value, so we need to figure out what c is. To do that, you let x equal 1 and y equal 3, because this was our initial point. And once you plug those values in, you'll get that c equals the 7. And once you find that c equals 7, you can plug that into your final and start equation. Ordinarily, um, you could stop here um, if you you know that you cannot solve for y. Sometimes you'll stop here. Sometimes you should go further and see if you can solve for the y term. So that's what we'll do. This is a uh, polynomial degree 2, and we're trying to solve for y. So what we can do on the left side is complete the square. And then we could move everything to the right and just whittle everything down uh, so that we can isolate the y term. When we do that, we'll get that y equals x plus or minus the square root of 28 minus 3x squared over 2. And when we solve for the domain of x, we should get that x should be between negative square root of 28 over 3 and positive square root of 28 over 3. Where here, I have written it in a shortcut method as the absolute value of x should be less than or equal to the square root of 28 over 3. Alrighty, I, that was our example. Um, I hope you guys understood everything. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if not, good luck and um, have fun.